A Christian lobbying group led by a Maronite Catholic is embroiled in scandal. The D.C.-based organization In Defense of Christians, IDC, advocates for persecuted Christians in the Middle East. However, as church militants Trey Blanton shows us, noble goals often drown when you play in the political swamp. On Sunday, Tufik Baklini resigned as president of IDC after he struck a deal with prosecutors to avoid charges of illegally funding political campaigns. IDC says the organization does not make campaign contributions and Baklini acted in his personal capacity, not as a representative of the group. However, IDC has yet to explain a complicated web of entanglement. Through his supposed employer, For Impact LLC, Baklini accepted tens of thousands of dollars he later used to help fund the campaigns of congressmen, notably Nebraska's Republican representative, Jeff Fortenberry, a Catholic deeply connected with IDC. For Impact LLC also funded Tanya Corey's campaign for state representative of Illinois. Corey has now replaced Baklini as president of IDC. Baklini received money for these campaigns from Gilbert Chaguri, a Lebanese-Nigerian billionaire who has his hands in a lot of pots. In 2008, the Clinton Foundation disclosed it had received over a million dollars from Chaguri, who, as a foreign national, is prohibited from donating to American politicians. Chaguri has ties to the terrorist group Hezbollah and was an ambassador to the Vatican for the Caribbean nation St. Lucia. Chaguri has been honored by the past three popes through the Order of St. Gregory for his philanthropic work, which includes instigating and funding the first convention for in defense of Christians. Washington is a den of devils. Christians must carefully guard their souls if they wish to lobby in the swamp. Trey Blanton, Church Milton Evening News, Detroit. In defense of Christians, has not yet clarified the status of one of Baklini's relatives who still serves as the chair of its Houston chapter.